In this exercise we're going to use the sample MEP project located in your common folder. From the startup screen, click on open, browse to your common folder and open the sample MEP project. From the project browser, scroll down until you find the HVAC design, ceiling plans, level 2 ceiling plan and open that view. If we scroll into this plan, we can see that there's a certain amount of work being done in making sure that we can see the view as we want to. There are a few adjustments, however, that I'd like to make. So from the View tab, I'll click on Visibility Graphics. I'd like to make some changes to the Revit linked file. Here you can see that we're looking at it by host view. I'm going to customize this. Look at annotation categories. Also customize this and make sure that I don't see it. If I click on OK and OK again, you'll see that the grids from the architectural file have now been turned off. I can also check other settings. So for example, if I go back to visibility graphics, click on Revit links, custom, and then customize the model category section. Let's take a look in here and see whether there's anything that I can turn off in this view. And I'm going to make sure that I can see all of the categories. As I'm using this as the architectural file, there's really no need for things like air terminals and cable trays. Obviously, I want to see ceilings, but let's go through and get rid of the majority of the mechanical, electrical and plumbing categories. I can do this by unchecking architecture and structure so that we only see the services information. So let's go through here and turn the majority of these off. I might leave plumbing fixtures on as the architect may be responsible for placing objects like toilets, although I can't imagine seeing any of those in a ceiling plan. OK, so we've now finished. Click on OK again. And I'm happy with the way that my layout looks. Now I actually want to create a view template from this view. I can do this by right clicking on the view and click on Create View Template from View. Give it a name. Let's go with HVAC ceiling plan. Click on OK and this now gives me a dialog box through which I can go and control all those properties relating to the views and I can come back and manage these later if needs be. Click on OK. Now I'd like my level 1 and my level 3 to have the same level of detail and visibility of objects. There's two ways I can do this. Firstly, I can right click on this view, apply template properties, and then select the HVAC ceiling plan view template. If I click on apply properties and then click on OK, you can see that this has now tidied up the view. But if I want to, I can still go back to visibility graphics and change how this view looks. If, however, I want all my ceiling plans to be identical, I can now select those three ceiling plans and from the properties palette, select a view template from here. If I select the HVAC ceiling plan, this time I get to apply this and click on OK. This now shows that we have a view template associated with each view. And if I go to the Visibility Graphics dialog box, you can see that I'm now no longer able to individually change these elements. And all three views are identical. 
if I do want to change them, what I need to do, view templates and manage view templates. I can apply a discipline filter so that we just see mechanical. There's my HVAC ceiling plan. And at the top right hand side of the dialog box, it tells me that we have three views assigned to this view template. So any changes I make here, whether it's scale or detail level or visibility of objects, this will be applied to all three views. This gives the user a greatly enhanced way of controlling multiple views at the same time.